Hey Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. Yesterday we received a tweet from someone letting us know that Shadow of the Tomb Raider has officially been ported to Linux and macOS, running on Vulkan by Feral Interactive. Uh, there's some folks who actually ported the original Tomb Raider and Rise of the Tomb Raider to Linux and macOS as well. Since Shadow of the Tomb Raider and its built-in benchmarking tool is something that we use for all of our GPU and gaming benchmarks, I thought that it was probably a good idea to see how far Linux gaming has come in the last year by testing Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And we're testing it on Linux. So let's keep this video short and sweet and see what happened. The last time we touched on this was with the launch of the 20 series NVIDIA cards with Rise of the Tomb Raider, so I figured it was time for a little bit of a refresher. Now I tested Shadow of the Tomb Raider with quite a few GPUs that I had laying on my test bench just to see how it performed compared to it running on Windows with DX12, because basically we test everything in DX12 with Shadow of the Tomb Raider, so it made perfect sense to make that comparison. We're using our regular GPU test system, which is running the Gigabyte Z370 Aorus Ultra Gaming with the i7 8700K and 16 gigs of Team Group Vulcan Z at 3200 megahertz. We did a fresh installation of Ubuntu 18.04.3 and I manually installed the latest AMD GPU drivers on one drive and I created a second drive with the exact same configuration but with the Nvidia drivers installed on those. Now we set the CPU governor to performance mode so it wouldn't hold back any of the results. We didn't use Ubuntu 19.10 because I actually had a lot of issues with getting it to run on our test bench and I didn't want to use any other distros because basically it was just a bit of a time thing. Now this video is just to give you the basic understanding of the differences that we found between DX12 and Vulkan. We tested the three cards that we had on the bench. It was the Gigabyte 1660 Super Gaming OC, the Gigabyte 5700 XT Gaming OC, and the Aorus Extreme 2080 Ti. Now, these are the only cards that we currently have available for testing, And but as you're about to see, uh, it's not really about the cards at all. It's more about Vulkan versus DX12 rather than those actual GPUs. So let's see what happened. From the testing we did, you can see that Vulkan performs around around 94 to 98% of the performance of DX12 on Shadow of the Tomb Raider, regardless of it being AMD or Nvidia for the GPU. And that might seem like a huge performance increase, but given that only five years ago, Linux gaming at the level that it is now was almost non-existent, bar a, a couple commercial titles. And I think that's pretty exceptional and I'm actually Personally, really excited for the future of Linux gaming. Now, I'm not sure how they actually went about doing the port for this game, but I'm fairly certain it's not using a DX wrapper like DXVK. I did a tiny bit of digging into the file structure for the game, and it appears that the binaries are actually Linux binaries, and they're not using any type of wrappers to get the game to work. But like I said, I didn't spend heaps of time digging into it. I could be wrong, but let us know if you have any info regarding the port in the comments. I'm keen to hear if anyone knows any more about it. But like I said, there's not much information out there on how they actually did it. Now, I just wanted to talk about this as well. I'm a Linux guy at heart. My whole professional career before this whole YouTube thing was based solely around BSD and Linux. The, the, the only thing that's ever really stopped me from being like using a Linux distro for my main OS has been gaming, music production, and video editing. Although there was this like tiny little period in 2014 when Unreal, oh sorry, 20, 2004 when Unreal Tournament 2004 came out and I was using Mandrake because I was like playing that game every day, so I was using Mandrake as my daily driver, but that's a, that, that's a story for another day. Now, we've done videos in the past about Linux alternatives for video editing, and yeah, they, they personally have just never really felt up to scratch for our type of workflow. However, I think Vulkan and Linux gaming is really starting to take shape as a viable Windows replacement. And like I mentioned, 
five years ago, that probably wasn't something that I could confidently say. Now, I'm aware of other stuff like Lutris and using different versions of Proton for games running in Steam, but native ports like this Shadow of the Tomb Raider port always get me excited because it, it kind of gets me out of my shell back into Linux and it helps me basically check out the state of gaming on Linux. And I know the Linux community will get upset if I didn't say something about Lutris, so I thought I would just quickly mention it before I get flamed in the comments. But yeah, Lutris is actually something I've experimented a lot with off the channel, but I haven't really done anything with it video-wise because I feel like by the time that I get to it, other people have already done it, so I don't want to feel like I'm copying anything. And just as a bit of a side note as well, we get lots of requests to do more Linux content, but it's it's always a time thing for us and I'm not purposely trying to neglect our Linux audience at all. It's just that sometimes it just takes time for us to set up a Linux system for testing something and we just get sidetracked with other stuff. Anyway, all that aside, I just want to give a huge shout out to YouTuber Flightless Mango. Uh, you did some really awesome in-depth Linux testing for Shadow of the Tomb Raider as well. And I just want to acknowledge that because it was just really, really good. Much better than what we did. And we just finished our testing doing all of the Shadow of the Tomb Raider stuff. And the original Twitter post to let us know that you made a video. So make sure you check out Flightless Mango's video in the description if you want to see more, like, more comparative data, a lot more than what we did. And if you like their video, chuck them a like and a subscribe. Anyway, if you like this video and you learned something, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do and tell us what you hated about it. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek. And I need to hang out with Tux the Penguin a little bit more, don't you reckon, Claire? I need to do more Linux stuff. I feel, I honestly feel bad that like we don't do more Linux stuff. But like I said, it's always a time thing. Maybe I can teach you Linux, Claire. Maybe that'd be a good series, teaching Claire how to do stuff in oh, Linux. Hell no. That'd be good, right? I wanna do other stuff. Yeah, okay, well, thanks for watching.